What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is the Romania show, and you're watching uh, what looks to be our last completely recorded only show. That's because tomorrow we're hoping to go live on the internet uh, for all the links, for all the information. Go to theromaniashow.com. Pretty obvious enough. Uh, I've been fooling around with the technical equipment. I've still got a few more things to adjust, but it looks like so far it's going pretty good. Um, I'm hoping to get my first Ustream video up. Uh, I don't think anybody's watching this live, and I don't have it set up to take any questions live, just because this is a test. But um, the Ustream, uh, if you go to the link, which is on the website, once again, uh you should see the link to the Ustream uh, channel, which is where I'll be broadcasting starting on Wednesday at 7 p.m. here in Romania time, or noon. East Coast of the United States, 9 a.m. in California, 5 p.m. in Britain and Portugal, can't forget Portugal, 6 uh, p.m. in the rest of Europe, including Hungary, and 3.30 next week on a Wednesday morning in Japan. That's right. Well, the last one's a joke, of course. I have no idea what time uh, it will be in Japan because I haven't figured that out. But if you ever want to know what time it is in Romania or anywhere else, you can go to google.com or google.ro or whatever your Google is and type in uh, current time in, say current time in Bucharest, and it'll show you exactly what time it is right now. So tomorrow we're going to have a few cool features, um, which I uh, will show you one of them right now, even though again it's not live. And that is, let's see over here, whoops, nope, not that one. Uh, let's see this one. Yes, if you can see behind me, uh, there's now a direct feed to the Twitter, which is uh, based on the hashtag The Romania Show. Uh, it's the symbol like this, The Romania Show, all one word, and showing the last tweet that I got, or that anyone can see with that hashtag. And tomorrow it'll be live, and if you have any questions, you can send a message using your Twitter account. Uh, or you can follow me on The Romania Show. It's the name of the Twitter account. Pretty obvious stuff. And I don't have it um, ready to go at the moment to show you, but it is set up. I've calculated, done some tests, and it seems to be working. And that is the fact that I'll also be taking questions via Skype, both audio as well as audio and video. If you've got both uh, audio and video, I've uh, got a little tinkering to do with that, but it seems to be working. I've got a super high-speed internet connection, so uh, hopefully we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it looks when it's broadcast. We'll see how it looks when it's recorded, and uh, of course I got to do a few other little things to get that ready. But I'm hoping to do it tomorrow, kicking off on June the sixth, otherwise known as six a six, but only two sixes. So don't freak out, those of you who are superstitious on those kind of things. Um, and. Let's see what else is going on. I got a few things to talk about. Uh, one of them, I mean, you know, hey, oh, why am I doing the show, right? Well, I talked about it on my blog, but I wrote about it, and so sort of course, some people don't um, read that well. Uh, quite simply put, over the years, especially since I started my blog and uh, wrote my book and all that kind of stuff, uh, people have been asking me questions about Romania, and some of them are questions from Romanians. What do I think about Romania? What do I uh, think about Romanian culture, music, food, whatever? Uh, the other questions, of course, are from people who are not Romanians and asking me, like, what about the food and the culture and the music and everything else? So, what is the Romania show? Well, the Romania show is everything to do with Romania, obviously enough. Uh, I think you could probably would have guessed that one pretty easily. And so, uh, anything you want to talk to me about, uh, you can contact me either of those two ways starting tomorrow. Uh, and we'll discuss it, whether it's politics or news or, or just, you know, maybe you want to learn a few Romanian words or what does this mean, what does that mean? I've had people ask me everything you could possibly imagine. So, instead of me just answering them one at a time, now it's going to be part of the show and we'll talk about what's going on in Romania and uh, what it's like to live here, what it's like to visit here, what to expect, what to uh, not expect. I know, uh, you know, I've, asked, I've had people ask me... If, Coffee exists in Romania. Can you get a cup of coffee? Well, um, the answer, of course, is yes. There was uh, coffee here probably before there was in the United States, which was some Americans asked me that. And um, uh, 
Tur you know, because it came from Ethiopia originally, so the Turks brought it here long before, you know, it ever arrived in America. But also, we have Starbucks and international chains, so you know, yes, the answer quite simply. I look at the camera. The answer quite simply, uh, if you're wondering, is yes, we have coffee. We have very <laughs> wonderful coffee. All right, what else is going on? Well, there's a big sort of scandal because uh, I wrote about it a little bit on the blog, but. Uh, Last three education ministers that Skeletor, Mr. Ponta, has appointed are complete idiots. But aside from that, this is the time of year where Romanians take what's called the Bach, or the Baccalaureate, the Baccalaureate in uh, sort of regular English. Sort of like the uh, high school graduation exam, although uh, it has a lot of implications based on where you'll go to school uh, if you're going to university. Um, in England, I think they call it the A-levels, although I could be wrong, it's been a while since... Uh, had to do with the English school system, but it could be the O levels, it's a letter. Um, in America, we have something a little bit similar called the SATs. Now, here's the thing in Romania, right? Well, there was always a lot of problems with people, you know, bribing the teacher to get a good grade or uh, cheating, or, you know, now that we got cell phone, uh, mobile phones and gadgets, you know, people are, you know, downloading things, I don't know what um, information and, you know, you know, or writing, hit, you know, what we used to call crib notes, which is where you, you know, you tape something to your arm and, um, you know, it's got information there. And on top of that, of course, is straight up, you know, hey, the smart kid, I'm sitting next to him, I'll just copy what he's doing, or the old-fashioned Romanian way, which is just, you know, an envelope full of money, give it to the teacher, and, uh, you know, it's a lot faster than studying, right? Well, so last year, or possibly two years ago, I think it was just last year, though, they started putting cameras in the classroom, trying to cut down, down on this. And then uh, apparently uh, they're having some problems with that this year, and then so-and-so bribed to get their way into this. And, you know, honestly, I'll, I'll t and the reason I'm bringing all this up is because the answer to this solution is incredibly easy. Uh, as an American, I took the SAT, so it's a very similar idea. It's a very important test, and how well you do depends um, on your future uh, university, whether you get into a good one, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's an important test. And, uh, you know, why didn't I uh, bribe the teacher? Or why didn't anybody that I know bribe the teacher? Or why do we, we're not doing things like copying and all this other stuff? Well, it was really simple. Uh, the test is administered by one group of people or one person, if it's a small enough group, and they're called the proctor in English, that's the name for that, and it's graded, the score is done by somebody completely different on the other part of, on the other side of the country. Now, here in Romania, I know a guy, he's a British guy, British national citizen, and he was administering a test to some uh, high school kids, and parents came up to him before the test, they handed him a bunch of money, and he had to turn it down. And he told me, he said, look, it's not that I'm so honest and and courageous and pure and brave and everything else. He said, literally, I have no control over the test because I'm not the one who's marking the test. I'm not the one who's grading the test. Now, the test he was administering was some kind of British test, so it got sent off to England, and so there was no way for him or anybody else in the school, uh, Romanian or British or anything else, to do anything about it. So, the SATs, which I took, same thing, you know, it went off to another place far, far away and somebody else marked it. So, you know, that's one solution. Number two, the people who were the proctors, the ones standing there in the school. Now, why, you know, why couldn't I just cheat and they don't care? Well, because they, it wasn't my teacher that I knew for, you know, for three, four years in high school. They deliberately uh, hired people and had it held at these different centers. And the person who was proctoring the test, I didn't know who they were. Nobody around me knew who they were. Um, hey, let's put the fish back, huh? Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's my fish, by the way. Um, it's pretty cool, and I got some interesting news coming up tomorrow concern, concerning my fish, or what you see them swimming around anyway. But anyway, the point was, you separate the people and the interests of the teachers, or the proctors, from the kids, because they don't know each other, and the proctors, of course, are getting paid, and all they did was sit there and make sure we didn't cheat. That wasn't too hard, because if you know someone's watching, you don't. And then the scoring was done by somebody who didn't know who I, was, who I was. So they had, I had no way of influencing them and they didn't care who I was. And, um, you know, if there's some kind of way uh, that you're concerned about, you know, maybe there is a way I can get a hold of, you know, just assign a number to the test. Don't even put the name on there. Somebody, you know, 
it's not that hard, folks. If you want an honest baccalaureate or buck or SAT or O levels or anything else, you know, it doesn't take a genius to figure out a way um, to do that, you know. And yet, it remains like blah blah blah, you know, because well, there's a there's a reason why remains. Um, you know, resist, uh, I guess you could call it, uh, honesty in reporting or honesty in uh, these baccalaureate things because, you know, all the influential people, all the politicians and mayors and, you know, true story, I don't have a whole lot of time, I'm running out of time here, one of the reasons why I want to do a longer show just so I could, you know, expand on a few things, but, okay, if I had to ask you, and this is including Romanians, you know, it doesn't have to be just uh, foreigners, but if I asked you... How many mayors do you think there are in Romania? Would you guess that it's like almost 4,000? You know, so there's way too many people. You know, 3,500 mayors plus God knows how many, you know, people in all the other branches of government all the way up to the county, the judith level, and the national government. And all of these people have kids or no kids who are in high school and they're taking the buck and they want them to do good. So... Hey, uh, well, you know, I want those other kids to be caught if they're cheating. But me and my kids, you know, knock, knock, remember me? Mr. Money or Mr. Influence or Mr. Whatever. And so, uh, you know, I wouldn't really look for any uh, particular um, improvements in that particular field in the near future. Um, that's Romania, right? Where literally uh, you can be a plagiarist and be a government minister, you can be a liar, you can misspell the name of the university you work at, and you're the education minister, kid, so remember, it's not what you know in Romania, it's who you know. <laughs> Alright, see you tomorrow for the live show, enjoy the Twitter stream, and we got some prizes, I mean some, not prizes, not quite yet, but some surprises coming up real soon. Until then, bye! Let's see if I can do it.